So before I even start today's video, I'd like to just say a big thank you to all 19,627 of you that have shown your support by clicking that subscribe button down below. If you're one of the original subscribers when I started this channel two years ago, you know I went from about seven campers when I started the channel to now almost a full lot. Things have slowly started to return to normal. But I've had the opportunity to video several different destination style models. Those back there, as well as this thing. And they all are unique in its own little way. But I think I have found my new favorite. This is a brand new 2023 Forest River Grand Lodge. Model number 42FK. It's right at 43 feet in length. It will comfortably sleep, in my opinion, about five. However, it's got like this metal living kind of setup to it that will give you additional sleeping for extra guests. So maybe seven or eight. And if you can look past this awkward kind of front end, the inside is just kind of amazing in my opinion. But I'm always curious to know what you guys think, so be sure to tell me in the comment section down below. And let's get started. So this is the new 2023 Forest River Wildwood Grand Lodge, model number 42 FK. And if you're not sure what the FK stands for, it does mean front kitchen. But I honestly feel like the manufacturer should have put a maybe DL after the FK for dual loft. This thing has quickly become one of my favorite floor plans because of the, the way the living and the kitchen work, plus the sleeping arrangements. I'm an older guy, I'm six foot two, 230 pounds, and getting inside of this bigger loft is a breeze. I'm still able to get inside of the smaller one, which is right at 26 inches in length and height, but it's not the most comfortable for a bigger guy like myself. However, I mean, for my children, ages from 26 to now we have our first granddaughter, it's, it's, it's just perfect. Not only do you have sleeping, you know, for five comfortably, you also have additional overflow here in the living. So this one could sleep maybe two plus additional two over here, but that really does depend on the size of the guests that are staying with you. This is a front kitchen layout with solid surface countertops, lots of overhead cabinetry, and they're very deep, right at 18 inches deep. The manufacturer calls this a walk-in pantry. Dimensions are probably right at two and a half feet deep and it tapers off slightly to this side, maybe closer to six inches. Glass accent. So these destination style RVs are gonna bring with it also residential appliances. Stainless steel look all the way throughout the kitchen from the sink to the cooktop, your oven, even the microwave. And take a look at your backsplash. You're not only going to have one, but two different outlets. Great for additional accessories, plus one over here. 50-50 undermount sink with a residential faucet. And this is a drying rack here. The only thing I really think they could have improved on is this additional little wall that separates maybe the kitchen from the living area. I've looked at the way the slide operates as well as here. I think you can bring the sofa out maybe additional four to six inches and it's not going to interfere with the slide and that will give you additional counter space up here. Maybe adding some different little, I don't, I'm not sure what the correct term is, but the bracing underneath there for decor. So this package that we ordered is called the best in class package. It does give you the additional lighting underneath your countertop, excuse me, your kitchen cabinets plus over the slide toppers as well. This coach is 102 inches wide and eight foot 10 on the ceiling height. It's just absolutely huge. I don't think the video is gonna do it justice with just how big it is. Your slide boxes are also seven feet tall. Let me show you the inside of the appliances and then we're gonna move over to the dining area. 
So the shelf is adjustable by one shelf, by one adjustment. And here is my hand and reference for size. Pretty basic not, you know, controls here for your temperature. Plus you also have a built-in timer. I like the separation between the oven, given the cooktop its whole little, little world up here. Three different burners on the top. Electric spark. 31 inch microwave. This is not a convection, but still they stay true with the LG brand all the way throughout. Some of your cabinetry. But overall impression of the kitchen is I like it a lot. Even this awkward looking front end that gives you that additional counter space, I'll take it. It's great for prepping. If you're maybe a bigger cook like myself in the kitchen, I need all that additional counter space. Your dining room right off the kitchen inside of the seven foot tall slide lots of windows the windows inside of the coach are trimmed out with these gray roller shades but not all the windows there is one back here in the back does not have any kind of window treatment on it at all there's no carpet inside of the main coach area they replaced it with this woven type material and also this is what i like standing inside of the slide box not having to worry about ceiling height at all let's go over your living area now so as you go throughout the video you'll probably notice randomly placed floor vents throughout the floor this wildwood grand lodge model was outfitted with a 35,000 btu furnace which of course is controlled from the propane bottles in the front but one tip, once you get these things in place, maybe secured in a more of a permanent location, call your local gas company and have them set a bigger bottle in place. It will definitely assist you with having, not having to replace those bottles often. You also have this. This is an all electric fireplace. It does produce right at 5,000 BTUs of heat out of this little slit here. The controls will allow you to change the let me find the right button. There we go. The color of the lights, either from blue, red to clear, and also the color of the flame. So you can turn the heat off and just utilize these lights, maybe in relation with all the different other accent lights, maybe to assist your guests who are sleeping here in your living area. Let's get turned around. So all the furniture is called a Thomas Paine Collection Furniture. These two here are recliners. This is also an XL brand, meaning it's a lot deeper. Notice I just pulled it apart. I have not properly assembled this coach yet. I got everything assembled, kinda, and got my pictures done, but I wanted to grab my camera because I got excited about it, really. But these are called XL. They're extra deep, as well as extra wide. Fills in the slot nicely. Let's go ahead and head back this way, but this is all the controls to operate your slide operations, as well as one of the thermostats your ceiling fan and of course your dimmer switch plus the this is the main light switch if you can't tell by now but this is one thing i like also you're able to dim all the lights down if i can get it to work there we go dim everything down just turn all the accent lights on it really would make for one really cool view if maybe you're out close to a lake just makes things look really really nice let's head back and go over the main bedroom in the back so the coach does have a drop frame construction. So you're going to step down about 12 inches, but you're not going to have to worry about hitting your head as you pass through. Once you're down, your ceiling height is six foot seven. This is what the manufacturer is calling a custom king bed. The dimensions are 66 inches wide by 80 inches long. So. It's honestly more of a queen size residential mattress. No valance on the windows. You do have a shelf over here, plus additional 110 and a USB charger. As always, there is storage underneath the bed, and this is what I call a cool little shoe garage. Good place to store all of your shoes. Keeps them out of the walkway, but just be mindful of that. Don't forget that anything is under there when you get ready to close it in, cause the side will come in all the way to here. Coming around to the foot of the bed, really big 
pull out. So I don't know if I can open this with one hand. Let's see. There we go. That's probably, honestly, almost three feet across. Television connections are here. I would have liked maybe to have seen a valance on the bedroom windows. Washer and dryer connections are already included. Splendid is the brand. And you have a hanging style closet plus some additional pullouts. Back up so you can see that. Let's go over the bathroom area. The bathroom area is really impressive in my opinion. Really really big stand in shower it does look like it might be limited on ceiling height but you're right at six foot six dimensions of the shower pan you are at 27 inches by 50 inches you also have the additional seat for the ladies come around this is your linen closet so once you get this coach set up in place and you've purged the water lines this is the switch to turn on the residential 20 gallon electric water heater. That's a porcelain foot flush toilet. Come around to your vanity and they've continued that solid surface countertop over here in your bathroom area. What's up guys? Continue to like and subscribe. Thank you for leaving me all of your thumbs up and your comments. Central vacuum. There is a, a hose, of course, to get up the stairs. You also have the sweeping port where you could just kick your foot up. Let's see if I can get it to come on. So I guess if you have back pain, you don't want to bend over. It makes things easier for you too. But coming up, you got two different loft areas. This one on the left is 36 inches. This one on the right is 26 inches. Let's start over here on the left. So coming up again, both of your mats are 74 by 42. So that's right at what, six foot two, plenty of width. Nice little reading shelf plus USB port and 110 outlets. TV connections are at the foot of the bed here. But if you can't tell, it's extremely easy to move around even though it's a loft. So would you clarify this for me? Is this a bedroom or is it just a loft? It's got storage, it's got heating and air, TV connections. Now let's take a look at this one. See the transition? So this is, here we go, 26 inches high this mat here measures 74 inches long by 32 inches wide and then you got like a half mat right over here this one's going to measure 30 inches wide by 56 inches long television connections so your total number of sleeping on board we're going to count this as only one because we all know that that space over there is probably going to be utilized for someone's bags whenever they are coming along that's going to be two and of course three you have the king bed for four or five and i've also let out the sofas showing you possibly six seven eight or maybe even nine but a date and time of making this video the manufacturer suggested retail price i'll hold this in place so maybe you guys can pause this and read the different options on board the MSRP is $98,133. For pricing and availability though, I always leave a link that is down in that description that takes you back to my website so you can view more additional photos of each make and model that I post. But I'm curious to know what you guys think of this particular floor plan, so let me know in the comment section down below. If you're not curious to see what's on the outside of the coach, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. And I do thank you for sticking around this long in the video. But the video is not going to do this thing justice on how enormous it really is. So this is my 
temporary office. This is a mobile home. Look how this thing practically drawers that office space there. But this thing is 42 feet, 11 inches of total length. The main box is 102 inches wide and it's 13 feet, three inches to the highest point. And that's gonna be that 15K air conditioner. Also, I forgot to point that out. There is two of them on board. This is gonna be the boat, both of your 30 pound, 30 pound propane bottles. That's gonna control that 35,000 BTU furnace, all of your cooking, but not your hot water. So again, the recommendation is once you get this thing in place, call your gas company and have those switched out for a larger bottle. Battery will be installed up here. We only do that after the event that the camper sells. And this is your battery disconnect switch here. This coach is going to be sitting on a 12 inch I-beam construction and it is stabilized from four of these different style scissor jacks. It does in fact have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. But one thing also I recommend is Grand Lodge gives you about six of these different tie down straps. Once you get it installed and set up professionally, and we do this here in Mississippi, but we'll take and get out some blocks, center blocks and block it up before utilizing a tie down system, giving it a lot more sturdy foundation than what that is going to provide you with. Coming back, your power core connection is back here on the back. This is not the one you're provided with, but you'll be provided with around a 25 to 30 foot power cord. So sewer connections, you've got multiple different ones. And I'm gonna explain what each one of these are because I've had an issue in the past with one. But let's start up here. So on board the coach, you've got two different grays and you've got a black. So if you decide to hook this thing up and never touch anything, you're gonna to have to have multiple connections and multiple fittings to make all that work. You also have a fresh water tank. So if you cannot have access to water, this is where that water will be drained in the event that you're done with it. And if you're utilizing your washer and dryer, there's no pull handle like you see on the rest of these. This one here for washer and dryer, you just need to make sure the hose is connected. If you forget that, and you don't pull that cap off when you're using the washer and dryer inside, oh boy, that whole entire bedroom is gonna be filled of water, filled full of water. City water connection, that's your fresh water right down there. That's what that is. Black tank flush, that's how you clean out those holding tanks right over here. And this is the access to the residential 20 gallon water heater let's come around i think this is locked nope quick pass through connection there's your power cord they've even trimmed out the slide typically this is carpet but i like this a lot this woven material this is for places like where you're going to throw stuff that's dirty this is going to eliminate any kind of stains magnetic latches also to hold those up And this is one thing that I'm glad I'm seeing. The ladder on the back because roof maintenance is a must, it's not an option. That is a fully walkable roof also. Outside speakers, TV connections. Here is another one of the manual scissor jacks and notice the tie down for this one. But a good set of center blocks is gonna be a lot stronger than these here. Or maybe use them both together. I'm absolutely in love with the layout. I hope you guys like what you see again. Continue to like and subscribe. Leave me a couple of comments. Come see us.